Ladies and gentlemen, Matthews here from Imando Forex Traders. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I handle losses, how I manage losses, and how I deal with losing periods. So, watch the rest of the video to find out how I do it because this is an inevitable part of trading. All right, so let's get started right now. So, when it comes to losses, you guys always hear me talk about how inevitable they are. Therefore, there's no need for us to try and avoid them. Losses are part of the game. Losses, losses are going to come. Every trader experiences them. However, the truth is that most people don't talk about it that often. Therefore, most people think losing is not actually normal. However, get it from me. Losing is a natural part of trading. In order for you to win, you need to have losses all right so what you can do is accept losses understand that losses are inevitable part of trading and even the most profitable expert traders experience losses therefore accept them as part of the process or you never make it in this industry right even mark douglas put it the outcome of any individual trade is random it means that at any particular time anything can happen therefore there is no way for you to know what's going to happen on a trade by trade basis therefore your job as a trader is to be able to execute your strategy that you've proven that you've back tested to be able to execute that strategy flawlessly by making sure that you are taking all trade setups that are meeting your criteria because that's when you're going to find yourself in a win otherwise no matter how much your, your strategy has has a win rate like no matter how high the win rate your strategy has you're always going to experience losses therefore i would advise that you get comfortable with the idea of losing and like mark like uh tom hugard puts it the best loser wins so learn how to lose learn how to handle losses and then you they won't be able to face you right so make sure that you are able to learn this skill because if you don't you will never become a consistently profitable trader all right so let's go to the next one right here so the second one is stick to risk management principles all right and i always always emphasize this point risk management has a direct impact or direct effect to your psychology right so it has a direct effect to your psychology if you don't predefine your risk before you enter a particular trade you are going to experience a lot of anxiety and a lot of emotions because you've not accepted the risk you don't know how much you're going to lose on that particular trade and like i always say for me i recommend 0.5 percent of your account right and being able to stick to that so you have to be able to stick to your risk management principle that you've proven to actually work in your favor therefore set a stop loss on every individual trade i'm really really a fan of making sure that you are setting your stop loss every time you're taking a trade right and then determine the appropriate position size based on your risk tolerance and account size never risk more than you can afford to lose on any single trade so for me i always talk about the 0.5 percent and making sure that you do that on a consistent basis based on the balance of your account very very important make sure that you accept the risk in advance calculate your risk and know how much you are standing to lose on every individual trade and for me it's always 0.5 because it's that but for me it strikes as a balance it's not too much and it's not too little right so that's how i do it make sure you find what you're comfortable losing determine how much you are really okay losing and then if you have that then you can take the trades using that position size but always ensure that you are predefining your risk every time and really accepting the risk of that particular trade because most people just uh put a trade and they don't really know how much they're starting to lose and then when they lose they get surprised by how much they've lost right and i mean that's really absurd so make sure that you you, you find out in advance how much am i willing to lose on this particular trade and if you're comfortable with it well and good if you're not then you have you know what, what you're supposed to do right so make sure you do that very very important without risk management no matter how good your strategy you, you have no matter all that 
it's the only thing that's going to be able to enable you to stand to withstand a losing streak because you are respecting your risk management all right and with trades like ours even if you experience five seven eight seven out of ten trades if you just take one trade if you're risking you're expecting your risk management you'll be able to cover that but however if you're not respecting risk management it'll be very difficult for you to be able to recover the loss that you're going to incur because you're most likely using emotions so always predefine your risk every time all right so let's let's go to the, to the next one right here so analyze your trades after a loss conduct a thorough analysis of what went wrong was it a result of a flawed strategy poor timing unexpected market event learn from your mistakes to improve your future trading decisions so this is very very important you know a loss can be your fault or it can be outside your control all right so the most important thing is to make sure that you are taking your a plus setups every time for me i always forecast my trades therefore the trades that i'm taking all these are forecasted trades meaning they happened before the market came to my area i, had, I was already forecasting this particular trade and i was waiting for the signal and once the market comes to my area i'll be able to execute those trades because i anticipated them however like i always say the outcome is always random no matter how perfect the setup might be the outcome is always going to be random however you have to make sure that you 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 come to that point where you're able to take only a plus setups because that's what you've trained your mind to be right it's very very important for you to be able to be consistent in that regard so that you avoid unnecessary losses and if you take a loss because you jumped into too too early or too late i mean that's that's your fault you have to accept that and man up and face the consequences right but endeavor to always make sure that you are taking the a plus setups you've analyzed and then you're just waiting for for the market to give you a signal right if that trade if such a trade loses you've actually won because you followed your rules remember you and i have no control over outcome therefore winning losing or winning is outside of our control the only thing that we can control is the process process of identifying base setups and taking the trade and following our rules the outcome the moment we take the trade we no longer have control over anything so don't even beat yourself about anything because that's none of your control you have control you have whether you're going to complain about it you have no control over that all right so but if it's a flawed system you don't have the confidence in your strategy then you have to do a lot of back testing right if it's poor timing for example this is very important for poor timing i remember i took a trade that last week where, where, where uh, the market just took out like the asian session but it was during like before almost during session during the asian session and i always make sure that i wait for the asian session to be taken out and that was my fault because I don't, I didn't have the patience to wait for that particular trade and end up losing the particular trade right so make sure that you know when to take the trade for me personally i don't like trading before the asian session i always want to make sure that the asian session has been taken out i don't like trading late in the evening or afternoon because i know that the market is slow right so all that comes from you having an experience and then there's going to be things like uh unexpected market events maybe you didn't look out for the news then my market just comes and takes you out and then continues to go in the direction those things are going to happen right so however our job is to be able to understand that those things are going to happen and we have no control over them therefore the most important thing is to be able to accept the risk of that particular trade because like mark douglas puts it anything can happen in the market right so the outcome of any individual trade is random However, if you take a set of trades, like 15 to 20 trades, you must have the confidence to say, I'm going to be profitable. And that's how profitability is. All right. So I hope you are actually catching along and actually getting something. All right. So another thing is maintain positive mindset. You have to maintain a positive mindset. Focus on the long term goals of your trading journey and stay optimistic and real. Um, resilient even in the face of losses or adversity remember that every setback is an opportunity to learn and grow as a trader so it's very very important for you not to focus on a trade by trade basis like i always say 
the market is random on a trade by trade basis but if you, you must have the confidence to say if i continue to execute my strategy i'm going to be profitable if you don't have such a such such confidence in your strategy then you're in trouble then you are really in trouble you have to have the confidence to say i have to execute my strategy for me to become a consistently profitable if i continue to do this i know with 100 percent certainty i'm going to be profitable if you don't have such confidence in your strategy then you do not use that strategy because you have no confidence in it all right and confidence will be uh, will allow you to take trade after trade even after you take losses because i understand and trust your strategy very very important and you the confidence only comes through having back this is the strategy and everything else so it's extremely extremely important right yeah so that's how it is and then you always have to make sure that you are sticking to your strategy having a well-defined trading plan and sticking to it trusting in your analysis and avoiding making impulsive decisions based on emotions and short-term market movement like i said the ability to stick to your strategy will only come if you have the confidence in it and the confidence only comes through the hard work experience you having seen your strategy work in the past that's what gives you the confidence to be able to continue to take the next trade regardless of the outcome of the previous trade and that confidence only, only comes through back testing for testing and having seen the market respect your strategy that's what's going to give you the confidence to keep on regardless of the outcome of the trade so always having a focus of a long-term mindset where you are looking at a large sample size trade unlike a short term remember on any one two three four five trades literally anything can happen but over a series of trades i know i'm going to be profitable you need to have such type of confidence and that type of confidence only comes through using a strategy that you've seen work all right and that's extremely important and on that note I would like to introduce guys to our m and f mastery course which is the strategy that we use right here we have a course that teaches you exactly how we trade and when you get that particular course you get lifetime mentorship you get lifetime signals you get lifetime access to me to ask me any questions whenever you have any you have you're going to be given a free trading plan a free trading journal and a lot more videos that will help you become a consistently profitable trader you guys if you're interested in that the first link in the description gives you access to that make sure you get remember you get lifetime mentorship and lifetime signal you guys make sure you check the first link in the description if you're interested in our course you guys i hope you found value in this video i thought i would share this with you guys uh subscribe like a video comment in the comment section until next time bye